Hello folks, it's Kane and welcome to Kane's Corner. We are playing more Darkness Falls, Hardcore Hordes. And I'm just derping about right now, to be completely honest. Have I got anything that... Does that give wellness? Yeah, it gives a bit of wellness. Right, use that. And I don't suppose it really matters what I use for food. I just need to top up because I've still got a um, food buff, as you can see. There we go. And then grab that, scrap it. I'm out of iron. And then I can make all of my first aid bandages. There we go. Right. So plan for today, I might go wandering again. Because there is stuff I want to... Oh, I need to put a bit more fuel in there. Da, 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 da. There we go. There is more stuff I want to go looking for. Um, what was Where was I? So I can look around there. I've been up there. I've been down to here. I'd like to go down here and see if any of this goes anywhere. Which I don't think it does. That might be the edge. But that's the wasteland. And then failing that, I might come over here and go off to the west. Or I might even go somewhere over here. There's got to be a road somewhere. No, apparently not. Uh, but that's what I would like to do. Now, I've also got a few bits and bobs I want to sell. I thought I heard zombies. Like a spare gun. So I'd love to go do that. And find more libraries. I'm making ink so I can make another class book. Because I've got two black dyes already. So I should be able to make four. And then make another class book. Well, sorry, blank class book I should say. Not blank class book. Mastery book. And I'm probably gonna go for scientist then that way I can make anti-rad pills bonk bonk and then we could go wandering in the wasteland to get titanium and things like that makes sense to me there's a god bag over here which I will absolutely take yeah kind of worth it I've been working on this a bit as you can see I think most of the inside is reinforced. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But I worked on the top a bit. Let me just open this. Go put this away. Oh, you can sort of see it there. Like all this wall here is done now, which is great. And some of that's done. That's why I was out of metal. If I go up here, all of this is done here. And we have started putting in more farming areas. So I'm going to have another one there. And I might look at putting a couple more over here. I did want to extend this out further. But I think I might need the farm space. We'll see. These are already. I'll loot them later. And I'll go loot my apple trees. And um, make more. I nearly said apple feed then. It's not apple feed. It's animal feed. Brain. Why? And I'm out of bandages. Hmm. Oops. Don't need to go that way. I've got some cloth down here somewhere. So I need 15 more bandages. Give me those. Make 15 of these. Put that away. And then I can make more, um, more first aid. Right. Awesome. So let's hop on the bike. Let's fill up the bike. Let's put things in the bike. Like all of those. Why am I carrying that black dye on me? That is dangerous. If I die, I lose it. Put the dye away. There we go. Right, and then we want to put that and that, that, that away. I'll put those away for now as well. I don't really need them on me. All of these can go away as well because I don't need them on me right now. And then I can just do that and make another 15. Jobs are good and right. I'll go off towards Joel then because I can go sell my guns to him. And that puts me in the right area to go exploring. There we go. There's the plan. Let's get going. I think the game might be taking the piss. Football player running around over there. Hmm. I'm sure he wasn't there, not biome spawn. But maybe I'm wrong. Is this one I have looted? Definitely not, due to all the rads. Is this one I want to loot? Well, 
Yes, but... It's a lot of ammo, so I'm not sure. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark... Oh, bunnies. I'm going to mark that down here. Oh, I'll just do that. Um... God damn it. God damn it. I'm all thumbs today. Right, that, that library. There we are. Um, I can remove that because that one is done. I don't know if that one is. I don't know. I'll check all those later. Right. Let's keep looking. All right, here we are. I'm nearly at Joel's. I had a sort of quick scout through the town. And I found a couple of shotgun messiahs. Hang on a minute. I've left all my shit in the bike. One of which is one we started to loot. Um, I guess the one I'm keeping. Actually, why am I keeping that one? Why don't I keep that one and sell the other? Okay. Uh, we started to loot a shotgun messiah. We got hit by a wandering horde. If you remember, I'm pretty sure we finished that. The one behind it, I'm pretty sure we didn't. But when I went and put my head in there to see what the hell was going on... It was full of rads, and I sort of went, okay, I think I'll skip that, thank you. All right, so, well, that's done, so now we want to go south, into this town, so we'll go this way, and we'll see if we can find any roads out of there, preferably off to the either further south or southwest. I'm pretty sure going east will be rad territory, and obviously we can't do that. So let's, uh, let's go and have a look and see what we can find, if anything. All right, so I've had a really quick look around, and the main problem I'm finding is I'm seeing stuff like this. There's little buildings out in the middle of nowhere and no obvious road. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross country a bit. And see if I can find any big cities or little towns and see what they might have. Like, obviously, right here, there's a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. There's another one there. There's another one there. And, yeah, I'm just seeing shit like this on the horizon. I also think I'm right at the edge of the map. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to go into a radiation zone and then fall off. So, I need to be a little bit careful. But I think I'm literally at the edge of the map. Because I'm noticing off to the left there, I'm not seeing a lot. And that's kind of worrying. Okay, so this looks like a town I may not have been in. I've double-checked the map, and according to my coordinates, that over there, that is the edge of the map. L that is quite literally, if I go over there, I'm going to fall off the map, edge of the map. Because I was at like 5,770 something south. And this is a 12k map, which obviously means it goes 6,000 south, 6,000 north. So yeah, good thing I didn't go wandering over there. Because I would have ended up in the biome radiation, which is not a fun time. That is still a rock cane. You still can't drive through them. For the love of God, use your eyes. And then I would have ended up off the map. But I did find this. And there's also another one just over there. So let's go and investigate this town. Actually, is this the same fucking town? This is the same town. Uh, oi! Piss off. That's the same fucking town. Right, in that case, we're going this way to go and investigate this town. Okay, here we are. It's only a small area, but let's have a quick look around. You never know. Might find something of interest. Oh, there's something big up there. What's that? Is there a road I can follow? There is indeed. It's a shop. It's a... One of my favourites. It's a cracker book. Right, okay. I need to position my bike for potential getaway because these get nasty. All right, let's kill you. Right, now you are silenced. So let's sneaky sneaky and use this as much as possible. Let's see how much of this we can clear out. Preferably without waking any tits. Oh. Got him. 
And I'm now level 60, which means I can purchase the perks, which... The crafting perks. Now, I can't use BXC. Oh, shut up. Okay. Right. I'm going to see how much I can do with my stealthy gun. But... I think something's trying to get out of here. Because they can hear smack, smack, smack. Yeah, there is. There's one over there. Right, we got rid of him. I'm going to guess there might be more shit on the roof. Football player. All right. Come on then, big boy. Come out. I don't even know why I wasted that ammo on him. It's only a biome zombie. Come on, finish off the door, please. Come on. I wish you could shoot through those gaps, but I do understand why you can't. Because I've seen people complain about that. It's um, it's a case of essentially, even though there's, there's holes in the door, it's still a complete mesh. So therefore, the full collider's still there. It would probably take an unreasonable amount of processing power to dynamically alter the mesh. I mean, I'm not saying it can't be done, because obviously you can do that with zombies when you blow arms and shit off, but it's one of them where if TFP said, no, we're not going to do it because it's not worth doing it for performance reasons, I'd say, yeah, fine. Get rid of him. Someone on the roof. I can see him. There's a couple of someone's on the roof. Nicely done, mate. Won't look safe for my shooting. Take the corpses for obvious reasons. Oh, a treasure map as well. I'll certainly have that. This rad right here is an idiot. Hey, there's an open door. Oh, well, it's Steve. He's not the brightest, is our Steve. Okay. Something outside, which I'll probably go and deal with just to make sure it can't cause any issues. Hopefully it's another biome spawn. Yep, yeah, it is. Good. That means I can just do that and not use any ammo, which I am absolutely 100% in support of. Alright, you are not reloaded. Let's get that done. You are not reloaded. You're almost out as well. And you are reloaded. And I've got some but not a lot. Okay. Barrel biker. Spider swat. Arlene. I'll just beat him with this. That's him dealt with. Right. Any 9mm for me? No. Any 9mm for me? No, just poop, which is currently not useful. Right. And now I've got to deal with the back. And the back can get bad. It is locked. That's the sort of shit I was concerned about. Okay. Right. That's the wrong one. God damn it.
Dealt with. Okay. You lot, however, are not dealt with and are a problem. Did I reload that? Now I interrupted the reload on him. You could just stay in there for me. Thank you. I'm guessing something may have exploded there. Where did the other two go? I'm very confused. Where did the cop go? Uh, not the cop. The soldier go and the uh, football player. Oh, Arlene. No. No, love, no. Oh, damn it. Let's click on the old scroll wheel. Right, there's nothing up here. That's all clear. Right, I think we're done, but where did those two go? I'm very concerned. Because it's entirely possible that I could get jumped by them. And I'm, I'm not about that. Right, what I'm going to do... Apart from get this, is I'm going to grab this, I'm going to open that door. That way, if by any chance a wandering horde comes along, I've got an escape route. There's nothing in here. So let's get all these cracked open. What we got? P225. Paper. Nickels and chainsaw. Very good. More thingy. Nearly... All right, okay. I'll do the cabinets, because why not? Nothing on that. It's, well, not lootable is what I should say. Coffee. I do need a drink for wellness. Five. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And now I can grab all of this, and I'll just go run around, and I'll loot all of this. All right, this is the last bookcase. There we go. Done. Ammo situation, not great. Was it worth it? In my opinion, yes, it was. So I'm not going to complain. I will sell that. Sorry, scrap that. I will keep that for selling. And then I'm just having a very quick sort out because we do not want skill notes to get lost in the mire of random loot. Okay, so obviously most of this is of no use to me because I know it. I will just scrap the fucking lot like this and see where we turn up on skill notes. So okay, that cost ammo, which I was trying to be careful of, but that was a nice little find in the arse end of nowhere. So I am going to go this way. I will be stopping occasionally to uh, continue scrapping those various books and we'll see... Well, for a start, we'll, um, we'll we'll take this and we'll refill the bike and we'll put it back. But I'm going to have to look in there. It says it's a bookstore. It's a rule at this point. All right, I'm going to park my bike right here. I'm pretty sure it's a castle. Let's get all these scrapped as well. There we are. Right. Guessing you're not supposed to go in that way then. Lucky potato. Hello, nurse. That went straight through her head. That is some bullshit game. Hi, Steve. Right, that on, so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Crowbar. You can hear stuff. 
our medical supplies for sure. Hi there. What can I do for you, cowboy? Ah, oh, just idiots outside. Okay. Hey, you shouldn't be able to hit me from there. That's rude. I must have topped my health back up. Now, I might have woken up stuff upstairs. Oh, I'll loot that since it's already open. Nice. It looks like the upstairs you actually get into from outside. There's some free rotten flesh. Will you be quiet? Right, and then I assume I could just basically use the right tool. Okay. Nope. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's here. Oh, dear. All right, and that was it. A few books. Not going to complain about that at all. Where did I put my bloody bike? It's over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's time to leave. No, thank you. No screaming hell bitch for me. I've already got enough of that with the cats. All right. I bet you all thought I was going to say the wife, didn't you? Okay, so... That's the desert town I know. So there's more. The town I was in um, a few episodes ago is this way. So I'll probably go this way. There's a nice big building here I want to have a look at. Oh, it's that one. Middle of fucking nowhere. That's a bit weird. Probably a bit too difficult for me at this point purely due to ammo. We will, however, take this opportunity to stop and continue scrapping. Just like that. No, don't scrap that. You Actually, you don't need that. There we go. There's a few more. Right. Let's continue uh, poking around and see what else we can get. Alright. We're about to go into the burnt bio, and I can... Still can't drive. I can see a city over here, so I want to go this way. I also need to be careful with this place because it likes to throw vultures and dogs. I'm actually semi-okay with being out here because I was thinking I should probably go find a burnt biome. I'll just run over her and dig up coal because I need it for making gunpowder. So this kind of works. I could go find somewhere and just make a uh, make a mine. Oh look, there's a mine, and you know, dig up coal, and then I can uh, start mass producing gunpowder for bullets. And I know people have said, "Oh, why don't you go coil?" It's like right now, all I can get is a coil pistol, and I am not going coil until I can get a coil rifle. As in the, the fully auto thing. So that's why not. And that wasn't a city at all. I've been bamboozled. Okay. Yeah, we're out to you two. Let's see what else we can find. Hey, I found a main road. Alright. I'm going to follow this. So, I'm aware that obviously lots of driving around like this is means I'm going to have to cut out a lot of the episode and it will be probably a bit shorter and a bit boring but I have to admit driving around in 7 days to die I find really really relaxing. I feel like this game is one of them where there's something that every person is going to find relaxing and enjoyable and this is mine for my wife she likes to uh, to go down, down the mine, she likes to go mining she said she could just go down a mine and lose hours if she finds it really enjoyable and relaxing. I've seen other people say the same for building. So it's something that I do like about Seven Days to Die. I feel like... Fuck off your library. I feel like there's something for every single person 
It's it's really good. Minecraft has that in a way, I would say as well, but to a lesser extent, because obviously you can't really go driving in uh, in Minecraft. Piss off. Fucking birds. Right, now I'm infected. The good thing about the burnt biome is there is a lot of stumps. So if I can find a stump, I am fine. But we will continue to investigate this little town that I found. Looks like it might be a uh, forest biome in the distance there. I'm going to keep going this way a bit and see if I'm correct. I'm curious now. But that looks like forest. Just checking, seeing what we've got. Now, this is not the official way out of the biome. But I want to see if I'm right. I'm right. There's a forest biome right here. Which, if I dive into... Is that wasteland? That is wasteland right next to the burnt biome. That's evil. That sounds like something I would do. And I didn't actually make this map in quotation marks. I just let King Gen do it. So there we go. Alright. Uh, it's nearly seven o'clock. Is there any? Shit! 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 This is not good. Oh, that's gonna sting. Oh, I thought I was safe. Looks like it curves around it. Okay, I'm gonna have to be incredibly careful which means I'm fucked because it's me and you guys know I am not careful I'll go this way for a bit then alright nothing there not entirely sure what this is oh there's a trader gen oh at least I hope there's a trader gen Fuck you, bird. Come on, then. Arsehole. I have got my money on me. Fantastic. I thought I'd left it in the bike. Jen. Hello. Let me see what you've got and what I can sell you. Okay. Well, I want to sell her that. She's got a vegetable stew. I don't really need stew right now, but I do need... I need ammo. But not right now. You haven't got any, right. Thanks for letting me take care of you. So I need to go to see the guard captain, grab a honey, fix that infection, and then with what money I've got left, I'll see what I can get off Jen. So give me one of those, thank you, and give me a couple of vitamins because I can actually take a couple. Great doing business with and then we you. use that. Infection dealt with, use that. And that's the, uh, sorry, some wellness. It's not the wellness loss dealt with. The wellness loss is going to need more than that, but we made a start. That's what matters. Now, Jen, what have you got? Ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Nine mil. And shotgun shells. I've got some 7.62. I've got none of this. I could buy all of that, so let's do it. And I can probably buy a good chunk of that. I could get all of it. Okay, we'll do that too. Where's the 9 mil there? There we go. Right. Just have a very, very quick bag sort like that. Trying to put that on my hotbar, and apparently I can't do it while I'm in the trader uh, window. Now you know. Well, you just Thanks, Jen. I'm glad I could help you. 
Okay. I'll use that to top my health off. Right. Infection dealt with. I've got a bit of ammo. All good. Go away, bird. Right, so that was a very tiny town that um, goes into the wasteland. So, unfortunately, not that useful to us. But at least I found Jen and got some extra ammo. That was a lot of green right there. I'm going to need to stop and fill up my bike in a minute. Now's the time to do it. There we go. Alright, give me this. Uh, sort that dead quick, actually. Running little shit. Must be a footballer around. Because he wasn't feral. Okay. So we know that road goes somewhere. I'm going to guess it links up to this. So I'm going to follow that... Just to essentially confirm my theory. And then we'll decide what to do from there. But given the time, it might be a go back home. Well, I thought I'd quickly come... Uh, I can speak. I thought I'd quickly come over here because I saw massive imposing buildings. And unfortunately, it's just like a gallery and a speedway. But uh, I found another road to follow. So there is that. Oh, bird, go away. And another little town thing here. Not entirely sure what we've got. Just thought I'd have a quick look around, as you do. Okay, a couple of houses and a couple of restaurants, eh? All right, that's fine. Okay, what's this way? Oh, there's one of those. Okay, so there's a big pool. A couple of Asia buildings, a couple of houses... And that's it. Alright. We'll go back this way, get back on that road and continue the way I was going then. Thank you very much, game. I think I see a potential city. The problem is, is that is Wasteland right there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. But I'm going to follow this road because it looks like it runs alongside the Wasteland. So you never know. Now... Something I thought I might talk about while I'm doing this is a couple of things, actually. The first is, by the time you guys see this, it'll be Wednesday, and you guys, you know that I've got COVID. So, what you know, I thought I'd give a bit of an update, and I'm recording this on the Sunday, and right now, I don't feel too bad. I think, um, I think I've got the less serious version, and because I had two jabs, I'm basically okay. It's a case of I'm a, I'm tired and I sleep a lot and I need to rest and that's it. The um, the headache's gone, the temperature's gone down, and that's I had like sneezing and stuff like that. That's pretty much gone. I just get tired easy. I don't really know what else to say other than that. It's just kind of like okay. I feel like I made a big fuss out of it when, you know, I just sort of want to say to folks, hey, in case I don't do a lot, this is why. That was not even a six spin, that was terrible. I'll go this way just to make sure this does go to the edge of the wasteland, which I think it does. And the other is, I posted on Twitter, I think it's time to start cleaning the laptop out because it's getting warm. If you guys remember last year, I was having problems with like my audio cutting in and out and USB devices disappearing and stuff like that. That's because the laptop was getting too hot and it was just turning shit off. Um, well, the temperature on it is starting to get to that level again, so I'm probably going to have to do a tear down and clean. Now, I don't want to do that right now because my concern is I'll get halfway through it, be absolutely knackered, need to go for a lie down and then forget to put it back together. I'm not even kidding. I could see that happening. Okay, this doesn't quite go to the wasteland. Um, so something I've done is I've limited seven days to die to only using half my CPU. And the reason I'm mentioning this is 
One, it's brought the temperatures down a lot. I, you know, I mean, I'm putting my hand on it now. It's warm, but it's not uncomfortably warm. It's just kind of, all right, I need to keep an eye on that. It's going to need doing soon. The other thing is, because, oh, there's a variety here. Ooh. The other thing is, because I have lowered the temperature, uh, sorry, done that, what that allows Windows to do is it goes, right, this application is only using four cores instead of eight. So, your CPU will turbo to its four core turbo frequency, not its eight core turbo frequency. So, my CPU is running faster, so the game's running better, but because I'm only using half my CPU, the temperatures are better. It's a weird logic, but it works, and... I find that quite interesting. So, if anybody wants me to know how I did it, let me know, because it's something I'm considering doing a video on. It's a really, really easy thing to do. The problem is, you have to do it every time you run the game. But, it's like 30 seconds max to do it. It's no effort at all. Um, so yeah, I thought that might be quite interesting. Also, that's night time, so I'm afraid we haven't done much this episode. We did, you know, loot a cracker book though, which is nice. But that's where I'm going to have to leave it, I'm afraid. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do the usual. Like, subscribe, comment, bell, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.